Hey, welcome back to this play date playthrough thing that I've been doing for the Season 1 games. Uh, today's game is Lost Your Marbles, which I didn't play a whole heck of a lot of in the last week because I ran into a bug where the crank... It uses the bottom half of the crank rotation, and for some reason it locked in too high. And then I just played through it again to uh, to get footage for this uh, for this video series, and for some reason I love this mirror... Uh, software, but it seems to mess up once every weekend when I'm making these videos. And I got through that, so now it's going to be great, and that's cool. Uh, but uh, it works just fine, so I'm looking forward to playing a whole heck of a lot more of this. Let me show off a little bit of what the game is. All right. I'm going to play a new game. It's going to overwrite my last game, but... I made it about as far as I did the first time I played, and I'm gonna make it that far again now, so it does not matter that I'm overriding it. Welcome to Pomegranate Village, a bustling island town getting ready for a big day. Today is the Festival, an annual celebration of community instituted by the, the town's famed Ball Museum. Under the watchful eye of Pomegranate's mayoress, woo, uh, the people come together for a night of fun, sandwiches, pro wrestling, robots, skating, karaoke, and much, much more which I don't know that you need more than those. That's a lot of things. Every year, citizens spend the days before the festival getting ready for the big event, and now we join one such citizen, Proda, who has big plans for tonight. There is a lot of dialogue, so I am actually just going to skip through it at a reasonable rate. You can uh, slow it down and enjoy it if you would like. Uh, the last time I did this, I tried to uh, just start saying all the dialogue, and it's like, oh my god, it's going to be 15 minutes before I even get to the gameplay. So... But the, uh, the basic idea, it's, it's got a lot of charm to it. I like the art, I like the, the dialogue, even if it's a bit heavy, at least toward the start of the game. I'm hoping, once the puzzles get a little more interesting, that it will... Uh, the, the, the talk game balance will even out quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, we are Proda, who is an assistant at a lab for a professor called Marvels. Uh, she's late to uh, help the professor with his project for the festival, but she still has to walk her dog. So she's like, why don't I just walk the dog to the lab and keep him there while I'm doing my deal? There's a problem with that, though, as, uh, as Besto will uh, we'll get into. And that... I mean, I shouldn't say it early. It's going to ruin the reveal. Going through the dialogue. Marvels needs a bit of help with his invention. Okay. Oh, Marvels is a cat. So, that will probably cause problems in the future. Alright, so Marvels has created a, an invention called the Marbleizer that lets you, uh, that it uses marbles, uh, connects to your brain to help you make decisions. And that is the crux of our, uh, our gameplay loop. Hmm. Yes. Let's go. Which event is happening tonight? And so the Marbleizer has a correct answer, and you use the crank to uh, move the environment, hit that light bulb three times, and you get the correct answer. Huzzah! Alright, and now he's going to answer a question that I shouldn't know, but the marbleizer is going to help me to focus, and I'm going to get the answer. What is the annual rainfall, rainfall in cubic hectares of Crabapple Valley? And I gotta say, feel like it might be 9,230,340 feet, uh, 43 cubic hectares. We'll also say, like, tiny nitpick. Uh, once you actually get into the main parts of the game, it is not a problem, but the, uh, the tutorial puzzles are not puzzles. You're just kind of hitting the same light bulb three times, and it can get a bit, a bit repetitive. But, again, that is not really an issue. You only play through it once, and oh no, Minty's here, and the shooting eye lasers—they hate each other. And all right, 
So, <clears throat> Minty freaks out, breaks the marbleizer, I believe while it was attached to Proda, and runs away. And, uh, yeah, so now, even though uh, Proda's not attached to the marbleizer, now she is, uh, she's broken, and she can't make her, her choices right. Oh, looks like there might be something down this way. Oh no, it's not knowing the color of an orange. That's kind of a problem. Alright. This game is charming. I will give it that. And I feel bad that I'm not giving it as much, uh, as much attention. But I want to show off the gameplay a little bit. And there is... A decent amount of word leg work that you got to go through before you get to the part where the game starts going gaming off real hard. All right, so now we're gonna go look for uh, for Minty for the dog. To do that, we're gonna go to the library and put together a sign, uh, a lost dog sign. And again, I'm getting ahead of myself because if I'm not talking about the, the fun, finer points of the dialogue. There's not a whole lot of information being exchanged here. It's just... It's just flavorful. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to make a uh, Lost Dog sign. And now we're getting into what, as far as I've seen so far, is the, the main thrust of the gameplay. These little self-contained levels. Ooh where they have multiple answers available. And you have to pick, uh, pick the right one. You want to try to get the star one. All right, so do I want to put this on... Yeah, this is just me getting a little conf confuzzled. And I swear I'm better than this. Maybe I'm not. Okay, do I want to put it on a sandwich wrapper? Or do I want to put it on parchment? Or do I want to go down here and use the secret correct thick stock paper? Which, I mean, I do want to put it on stock paper, but sandwich wrapper's fun here, so let's go. I'm going to do worst answers only. Now I will be making this, uh, making all the copies of this Lost Dog sign on a freaking sandwich wrapper, because I'm crazy! Right. Oh, I've got to choose the message. Do we want to write... Uh, come on. Let's get up to the messages. I'm going to write, HELP! Is this you? I gotta tell you, I do not actually know uh, know how to uh, get stuff on that wall. I gotta go behind this one. Oh, do not actually know how to get enough momentum to hit that one. So I'm just gonna ask, is this you? The worst answers run. Let's go. Worst answers speed run. Monster marbles. All the excitement in the world. I'm gonna move this to hopefully not lose the video footage again. I feel like uh, if there are no consequences for making bad choices, uh, picking bad answers is probably more fun. Although, uh, gameplay-wise, it's definitely more fun to, uh, to get good answers because they're good. Uh, and I discovered this last time that if you take the left path... Oh no, I made the mistake! Uh, you can hit this secret light bulb that is the one you want to hit. And you'll have less of a chance of accidentally hitting, but... but uh, yeah, I messed that up. Okay, so you can get a perfect picture if you can get over there three times, but... More than likely, you're gonna end up, uh... Doing things wrong. And if you go this way, you're gonna get a zoomed-in picture. Which is at least a little better than what, maybe. I think it's better than what. 
know what we want. We want the butt, I want the butt. We gotta get the butt. And of course, now that I know what I want, I can't get it. Such is life. Oh. This is definitely a tilt system that, like if you can get your brain right, it is intuitive as heck. And if, uh, if you're not like locked in to what you wanna be doing, it can be super, super frustrating, as it is right about now. Right, let's see if I can just hit that button. Nope, gotta go around. I try to avoid button guy. Hit it by accident. Yes, okay. <coughs> Alright. So now, worst possible picture. Let's go. All of Minty's angles are her best. And what a butt it is. Alright. So that is our greasy wrapper butt selfie is this you lost dog poster poster. That's real nice. That's real nice. Uh, yeah, and that is Lost Your Marbles. At this point we're going to uh, move on to another set of puzzles. And I'm gonna move on to tomorrow's game. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at it. Oh, actually went down. We enjoyed watching that. I had a good time playing it. And I'll see you tomorrow to play a game that I played the living heck out of over this last week. And if I wasn't uh, no concentration sick the entire week, I would have played a lot more of it. But yeah, my head hurt, hurt to do things. And I was still playing it because it was a lot of fun. See you tomorrow.